Hey, what is going on today, CISSP wannabes? These are the IT Dojo CISSP questions of the day. I am Colin Weaver, and every day I ask you two questions to help you in your studies as you're trying to work towards getting that certification. Let's jump right in it. Question number one today, which of the following statements pertains to the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution? Give those a read, click pause if you need to, then when you're ready, click play, we can break it all down. All right, first choice on the list says it establishes the rules of evidence for evidence collection for forensic investigations. That is not true. Uh, the federal rules of evidence is going to go in and cover such things. Second item on the list says that the Fourth Amendment protects against illegal search and seizure by agents of the government. This is absolutely what the Fourth Amendment does. Now, there is a lot of conversation that is all very legal easy when it comes to this. I don't know if legal easy is a word, but I just made it one. Um, that's going to go in and address all of this. Uh, but just as a simple gist question that I'm not trying to get super freak mode read into, um, that's what the Fourth Amendment is going to do for us. All right, third item on the list says that it establishes the need for a private employer to obtain a warrant before they can investigate an employee. Uh, no. Uh, the Fourth Amendment applies to agents of the government. Um, it does not apply to private employers. So, and again, I'm not going to try and read into any kind of extra legality stuff with that. And I know that there's a lot of discussion that could be had, but we're just talking about a pretty straightforward kind of question here. But the Fourth Amendment does typically not apply to private employers. And then our last item on the list says that it applies to public and private uh, employers. Uh, it absolutely applies to public employers. Public employers are typically the governments, uh, be they state or federal, and private employers are you know, private corporations or private you know, sole proprietorships and things of that nature. It applies to private employers or agents of the government. It does not apply to uh, private employers. So there you have it. All right, here comes question number two today. My question to you is, if risk was a mathematical equation, which of these would it be? Go ahead and look at that, ponder it. Click pause if you need to. When you're ready, click play. We'll talk it up. Okay, I made all of these up except the right answer. Um, threats times vulnerabilities times impact is widely regarded as the equation for risk. Uh, sometimes people substitute impact for cost, or sometimes you might just see the equation as threats times vulnerabilities, um, but more commonly these days we seem to see it as threats by vulnerabilities by cost equals risk. All the other stuff, just some junk I made up to try and confuse you. All right, that was quick and easy today. First question on is basically what's the Fourth Amendment and what does it do? And the second question was, uh, give me a formula, give me some math to define this thing called risk. I hope those questions are helpful for you. Hope your studying's going well. See you tomorrow.